So since I started producing, I've pretty much always used FL Studio. Now the reason for this is it's pretty much the most popular DAW for making trap and hip hop beats. And when I was trying to learn, every time I would look up something on YouTube, that's just what people were using. But today I figured I kind of want to try and learn Ableton. So in this video, you're going to see an FL Studio producer attempt to use Ableton. Now any of my subscribers that make beats as well that use Ableton, leave some tips down in the comments because I am actually trying to learn Ableton and we'll see how it goes in this video, but I'm thinking it's probably not gonna go too well. The reason I'm even trying to learn Ableton is I took kind of a dive into house music and I noticed a lot of the house producers usually end up using Ableton. I don't really know why that's a thing, but it is something I noticed. But in this video, we're gonna do pretty much my forte, which is creating that yeet sauce. So I'm gonna try and make a yeet beat, but I'm also gonna try and do some vocals in Ableton, which I haven't done for a while. So all you guys gotta do now now is just sit back and watch me get abused by Ableton. Oh! Ew! Well, let's get it. All right, so as you can see, I got Ableton pulled up here and I know pretty much the basics. I've watched a lot of Benny X videos of him uh, using Ableton. So I got a, a little idea for how to use it. So the first thing we're gonna do is just start out with some MIDI. So what I'm gonna do here is just make a four bar loop and I believe you hit control shift M. It's supposed to make MIDI. Um, I think you have to have a MIDI track. Let's do that. And then Control Shift M. There we go. And then we got to get a plugin. Let's just go for Serum. I think my biggest issue in Ableton is going to definitely be the piano roll because, in my opinion, FL Studio's piano roll is just the best. One second. So speaking of house music, I actually just got a package. We'll do a quick little unboxing real quick, but I'm pretty sure this is... Uh, DJ board and yeah, that's exactly what it is. I grabbed me a little entry-level DJ board and We're just gonna I'll do a video on this in the future too, but you're gonna see some DJ Q soon All right, but anyways back to the video as I was saying I think my biggest issue is gonna be the piano roll because in my opinion FL Studios piano roll just is the easiest to use and it just always feels the best But who knows maybe there are some upsides to Ableton's piano roll. All right So first thing I'm gonna do is just go into cyber v1 here There's a link down in the description for that if you want to grab it and make a beat along with me, but I'm gonna just go with some kind of synth here. I usually like this chainsaw one. Yeah, let's go into this piano roll. All right, so I know there is, so I'm not too good with music theory, so there is like this scale button in here where you could just set the scale like this. So we're just gonna make it A minor, C major, same thing. I think you could click like this fold button too or something. I saw someone do this before. Damn, I'm not sure how you do it though. Not seeing it. Oh, right here. No, scale. Ah, there we go. See, I don't know how to do this at all. Let's see, bring it down an octave. Let's get the... for now uh, so I'm gonna do this just duplicate these and bring them up to their fifth yeah see this piano roll is just confusing me because it just looks so different <laughs> can you like clone this duplicate what does this do and delete the MIDI Control sh oh shit, what'd I do? A lot of mess ups here. All right, wait, I think I got this. Let's go one up serum again. All right, let's get a bass going. Let's go with this, I think it's silence. And then we're just gonna copy the bass. I feel like I'm working so slow. <laughs> Kind of getting the hang of this. All right, let's get uh, some kind of like pluck going or something. I want some like washed out like bell or like key.
right, this is going pretty good so far. Not mad about this. All right, let's delete that. It's gotta be a better way to do this. All right, now I just want some like crazy lead. I'm just gonna leads. Um, like something. Yeah, like this. And we're just gonna grab the harmony notes and maybe adjust it a bit. I know this is one thing I really like about Ableton. You could select everything. I don't know what the button is. I'll just group it by control G. And then you can kind of just ignore this now. And then now we'll just go into the drums. I don't really know how to do drums in Ableton. So that's going to be interesting. All right, I'm going to just dive into Cyber 2. There's always going to be a link down in the description below if you guys want to grab that. But I'm going to start with a clap. I'm so slow at this. Oh man, I'm fucking up. Wait, so. Now this is where it gets interesting. I don't know how to do rolls. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. I'm understanding now. I'm just a bit slow, you know? Take some time. Let's get a snare going. See. Get a simple open hat going. Well, let's get some 808s going. And then for the most part, we're just going to be following the root note, which I already forgot what that is. Let's just take this, copy it, go back into this MIDI, paste it. And I would say bring it up an octave, but I have no idea what the button for that is. All right, that needs to be louder, obviously. But the last thing I do want to add is a kick. So I'm going to go back to my kits. Can't tell if that's playing or not. I was just real quiet.
All right. I also forgot I was working at 120 BPM. So we sped that up a bit. We might even speed it up more later, but I'm going to group all the drums now. And I have no idea how you do arrangement in this, but I'm just going to kind of swing it. All right. Someone's going to have to show me how to do arrangement in this because that don't make no sense to me. All right, that's all I'm gonna do for the arrangement for now because that is just like, I don't know. I'm gonna, someone leave some videos down in the comments for some arrangement tips or something like that because it's a bit confusing. But now we're gonna move on to actually recording some audio in here, which is gonna be difficult, but I'm just gonna pull up my Yeet preset that I have for Ableton and hopefully this even works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta get it right in That's all we're doing for now because honestly i don't even know what i'm doing at this point anymore so we're just gonna we're gonna give this a quick listen let me know what you guys think let me know if this turned out good leave a like if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave some ableton tips down in the description below but uh here's the quick little song we made and i'll see you guys in the next one yeah. 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 I gotta get it right